are we not gonna cry? Because I am. I am gonna cry. Like, I am... It's everything I've ever wanted. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. Today I have been so excited for this video. We're doing a book haul today. I think this is one of my biggest book hauls ever and I also think it's one of my most beautiful book hauls ever. We have hauled some of my favourite covers I think I've ever hauled so it's a momentous moment and today the future starts. <laughs> I feel like today the future starts so it's a good day. I'm excited. <laughs> so first, these are the books I'm most excited for. These four books. I, listen, <laughs> some of you may know I have an obsession with the cover of my edition of The Mystery of the Blue Train by Agatha Christie. And let me tell you, I learned. <laughs> it's getting weird. I learned that that is a like collection that HarperCollins have done of some of Agatha Christie's uh, most famous books. And then one day I got an email from HarperCollins saying that on their site of their books they had 40% off. And I was like, Megan, it's now or never. Megan, you may have no money, but it is now or never. You will regret this for the rest of your life if you don't do it. So I bought most of the ones in the collection that I don't have. Are you ready? You are going to cry. You are going to cry when you see how beautiful these covers are. So we have got, I don't think you're ready. Look how beautiful. We have got Murder on the Orient Express, which is gorgeous. Then we have got Death on the Nile. Let me hold it like that so you can really see it. I'll do close-ups as well. Are you crying yet? Because I think you are. Then we've got the ABC Murders. I love the kind of like geometric design on this one. And then we've got, I also love this one, the 450 from Paddington. Right? So, oh my god, I want to cry. <laughs> How so fun? You will not get one tear out of me tonight. So I got these four editions, and let me just tell you, they are just so- I, This isn't doing them justice, how gorgeous they are. I have never seen more gorgeous books in my life. I adore them. I love them so much. I would die for them. I don't know what my favorite one is out of these. Maybe the ABC Murders. Here's the thing, I think my favorite changes every day. <laughs> I'm fickle. So right now I think it's that one, but if you ask me tomorrow, it's gonna be Death on the Nile. So I just love these. As many of you know, I am reading all the Erky Poirot books in order at the moment. These three are Erky Poirot, right? Or am I making that up? And then this is Miss Marple, I think. I just love these. These are like prized possessions. I'm tempted to put them on my bookshelf soon and just have them displayed there, even though I haven't read them because they, they are literally that beautiful and I, I love them so so much they are literally some of my favorite books i have ever bought <laughs> then along with those books i also bought blackout by um Daniel clayton nick stone tiffany d jackson ashley woodfolk angie thomas and nicola yoon so these authors have all come together and written this book and it's about a blackout in new york city and about these different like love stories that happen during that blackout a lot of them are linked i have listened to a few like interviews on podcasts that they've done talking about this like in the promo for it there's a lot of like links between the stories. So I am so excited to get to this. I'm thinking maybe this is gonna be a holiday read. I'm not sure. I don't know how much I'm gonna read on holiday. Am I either gonna read loads? Am I either gonna read like five books or I'm not gonna read at all? <laughs> Next, let's show you this one quickly. This is one of my favorite covers of the year of any 2021 new release. Again, you're going to cry. <laughs> that is my reaction to covers that I love. I just like, I just wanna cry. I just wanna cry. Just like leave me alone in a dark room to cry. It's very strange. <laughs> uh, this was very kindly gifted to me by a subscriber called Trinity. So thank you so much, Trinity. And it is, are we ready? Moment of silence. Okay, it is The Ones We're Meant to Find by Joan Key. So this is a sci-fi about these two sisters and one of them lives in this like super futuristic -y town and the other one I think has been like deserted on an island and they're trying to find their way back together. I have heard mixed things about this since it's come out. I think everyone's in agreement that it's like the most beautiful cover, but I have heard mixed things on the, uh, on the content. I've heard some good things, I've heard some not so good things. I've heard it's like quite complicated sci-fi and listen, we all know one brain cell. One, I can't even say cell. I said sales. 
not even one brain cell. I am a bit nervous to read it, but I'm also so excited because it is a beautiful cover. It's a shame I didn't have this when I did my most beautiful covers, do they equal beautiful books? Because this would have been on the list, but it is gorgeous. I mean, my conclusions in that video, if you haven't watched it, are that uh, beautiful covers don't mean beautiful insides of books, but I'm hoping this will break the mold and I will love it. So next are some books that my parents very kindly bought for me as like a present for getting a first at uni. If you don't know, I got my results back from my university degree, which I just finished and I got a first. <laughs> Let's just get into it because are you ready for another beautiful book? Are you ready? This is why I'm telling you there are so many beautiful books in this haul. We're gonna cry again. I'm gonna cry again. Okay. <sighs> oh my God, Jesus Christ. Check out the bless me. <laughs> So this is the Tea Dragon Tapestry by Kay O'Neill. This is the third in the Tea Dragon series, but the second was a prequel and I say it again, I cannot find it anywhere. I mean, look at how gorgeous the insides are. Again, I will do close-ups, but like, aren't you crying? I am crying about these tea dragons who like brew tea and it's just so cute and wholesome and soft and I just love it. So I am so happy to finally own this. It is genuinely just the most beautiful, lovely illustrations stories it's like a warm hug as a book and i am so excited to continue on with the series like it's just stunning it is i think the prettiest graphic novels i've ever read i just absolutely love them it's like a warm hug it's like a warm tea it's like a warm chamomile tea if this was a book i would just hug it non-stop it reminds me of like a teddy bear it is the personification personification bookification of a teddy bear I hate her, I tell you now. Oh, this is a beautiful cover as well. I chose A Lats Away by Darcy Little Badger. I don't know too much about this other than like everyone fucking loves it. <laughs> that was enough reason for me. I know this is about like an indigenous girl who I think can raise the spirits of the dead or is it dead animals? One of the two and it's kind of like a middle grade but kind of not. I've just heard that this is like beautiful writing, very atmospheric. Everyone who read this it was kind of like in their best books of the year last year so another one that I'm very very excited to get to hopefully soon. I don't have plans but hopefully I will get to that soon. Then what else did we pick? Well I picked these not we. Actually let's talk about the one of these that isn't a new release and then we'll talk about the three that are new releases. Technically the Tea Dragon Tapestry is a new release as well. It is The Jeweled Moth by Catherine Woodfine. This is the second in the Sinclair's Mysteries. I've spoken a little bit lately about how I made a series spreadsheet of every series I have started and it gave me a kick up the arse. Good God, get a grip, girl. <laughs> to finally carry on with some series and maybe like, I don't think I'm gonna vlog reading this. I think this will just be a book that I read in my own time. Cause sometimes I get caught up with like, I can't read a book if I'm not vlogging it because I don't want you guys to like miss out on my thoughts on anything. But it's also not true. Like this is the second book in a middle grade mystery series that I don't think you necessarily want a dedicated vlog for. And like that space in a vlog would probably be better spent by putting a different book in there. Not to say like, oh, I can't put series in vlogs if I, if I want to, but I just feel like sometimes something like this would be good for me to just read on my own. So this is a middle grade murder mystery series set in like I think the 1900s. The first one was set at this department store called Sinclair's which is very much like Harrods and our girls were working there and they came together to solve this mystery and it's just fun like I really like it. It presents itself as very campy like it's very like over the top dramatic fun. Wow! Woo! Way! Way! And then I picked three more new releases. First we have got the final girl support group by Grady Hendrix. I have always wanted to read some Grady Hendrix and I never have. He also wrote Horror Store which is the one that like looks like an Ikea catalogue and My Best Friend's Exorcism. So I've heard so many good things about so many of his books but this one is his latest release and it is about the support group of final girls of serial killers. So these women who have survived these like horrific things and they come together in the support group and then I think they start getting killed off basically. I've heard some good things since this came out. It only came out like a couple weeks ago I think. I wanted to read more horror. Horror and sci-fi I think think are genres I always really enjoy when I read them but I don't pick up enough so they're currently genres that I am like prioritizing hopefully reading a bit more from. Sure Jan. The next one Oh my gosh, I am so excited. This is another potential holiday holiday book. Can you tell I'm like, I'm trying so hard to figure out what I'm gonna read on holiday and it's really, it's really hard. It's really, it's a really hard decision. But I got Switch by A.S. King. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Me and A.S. King have, a, have an interesting relationship. I either give her books five stars 
or like two stars. <laughs> I'm hoping this will be another five star. My hair is annoying me today. What is this strand of hair doing? Where has this strand of hair come from? And why doesn't it want to amalgamate with the rest of my face? Like, like, why we keep gapping? Like, you... Uh, excuse me, what is happening with this hair? I have never in my life yelled at a girl like this! I was rooting for you! We were all rooting for you! How dare you! So just by having a flick through this, I can already tell this book is fucking bonkers. bonkers. It's told in these really short verse. So we have like a chapter, but within that chapter, we have like little sections that have subheadings. A.S. King, if you want wacky books, just go to her. Like she's, she's there for you. She's there with open arms. I'm about to commit a murder to this piece of hair. <laughs> I was angry. I was angry. I don't usually read like descriptions to you because it's kind of boring. No shade, no tea, no shade. But this one isn't. Time has stopped. It's been June 23rd, 2020 for nearly a year, as far as anyone can tell. Frantic adults demand that teenagers focus on finding practical solutions to the worldwide crisis. Not everyone is on board though. Javelin throwing pro prodigy Trude Becker is pretty sure her solution time class wouldn't solve the world's problems, but she does have a few ideas which might. Trude lives in a house with a switch that no one ever touches, a switch her father protects every day by nailing it into hundreds of progressively larger boxes. But Trude's got a crowbar and one way or another, she's going to see what happens when she flips the switch. So we're dealing with like bonkers level territory here. I am so excited. I think she like lives in one of the boxes. I don't know, but I'm very, very, very excited for this. And it's really short. So I have no excuse for not reading it yet. Well, I only got it like a couple of days ago. So actually I do have an excuse. But I did tell a bit of a lie there. And then finally, of the books they got me, another one that I am so duper 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 excited for. This book haul, like no lie, is like one of the best book hauls I've ever done in my life. We have Dead Dead Girls by Nikiza Afia. This is a mystery, a murder mystery set in Harlem 1926 with this black girl as the detective and it's gonna be amazing. I've picked this up particularly from Mara from Books Like Woe's recommendation. I go to her for a lot of my mystery recommendations and I've heard that it's like quite a bit heavier than you would expect. I think looking at it, Mara said this as well, like looking at it, you kind of expect cozy mystery vibes. Like it's that, you know, it's got that kind of like cozy historical vibes, but I've heard it's a lot heavier. I think um, young black women are going missing. And so this girl takes it upon herself to investigate it. So this is a mystery I'm really, really excited for. And I haven't heard a lot of people other than Mara speak about. So I'm very much looking forward to it. Fairy Loop books are always gorgeous. This one I have spoken about already. So just very quickly, we've got Fire with Fire by Destiny Saria. This is a fantasy about twin sisters, I think, or no, I don't think they're twins. I think they're just sisters. They're supposed to say a dragon or some shit. I don't really know. I need to do a video testing book box books it book 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 box books book box books that I didn't know anything about beforehand because I need to test how you know how accurate I I swear to god. I swear, to, I do not deserve this. I need to test how good they are, but I don't really know anything about it. So we're just gonna park it. Let me know if you've read it and if you think I'd like it. Now I have got the July, July Fairy Loot box. I haven't unboxed it yet. So let's just do that quickly together. I am so excited. I think I know what this book may be. And if it, if I'm right, I am so excited. Like this is a book that I am genuinely very, very excited for. Oh, we've got a tin. I love a book tin. This one, oh my God, what is going on here? Hang on, hang on. <laughs> I pulled the lid off to find another lid. Um, that doesn't make no sense. Oh my god, I do not want to fuck this up. How do I open you? Does it not have an inside? <laughs> it does. Okay, we're good. This is a gorgeous book tin. Inspired by a court of thorns and roses. It's blue. It says, be glad of your human heart. Pity those who don't feel anything at all. Next, is this what I think it is? Oh, it fucking is. What do we have here? Oh, it is. Oh, it is. It is a book sleeve. Fairly really do the best book sleeves because they have a zip. Before we even get into the design, oh, and this one's like fabric-y on the inside. Oh, that is, that is, oh, 
That is bougie. They are bougie today. I love book sleeves with zips because otherwise shit falls out. I'm like, why? Please, all book sleeves need to have zips in my opinion. Anyway. Oh yeah, they said we've improved it even further by using the same material we use in our pencil cases. That is so correct. That is, that is correct. That is correct. Um... <laughs> And that is correct. Very nice quality. This is gorgeous. This is inspired by the Blood of Stars duology by Elizabeth Lim. That is so pretty. I love the colours on it. Fairly kill me every time. Fairly don't understand how much I love them. Like, oh, we've got an umbrella. Okay, I'm not going to open this, but it's got like cards on it. And it's inspired by Heartless by Marissa Mayer, which I have read and I did enjoy. <gasps> yes, I love socks. <laughs> we've got these lovely sockies. Oh, they're big socks. Inspired by Cinderella is Dead, which I have not read, but I do own. So here's hoping that I'm gonna love that. And then we've got a foil print for the Star Touch Queen series by Roshani Chotsky. And we have got the tarot cards, which are inspired by Caraval by Stephanie Garber. Okay, let's have a look at the book. I'm hoping it is a certain book. So let's see. Oh my gosh, look at the sprayed edges already. <gasps> I love it. I love it. And it gives me that buzz. It's It feeds exactly what I want to do. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I am going to cry. <laughs> so this is Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lim. I have been so excited for this book. This is a 2021 release I've actually been super duper excited for. Are we crying? Yes, we are. Look at the gorgeous stenciling of the cranes down uh, the spine. And then we've got purple on the other ends. Oh my god. Let me guess. Let me guess. No, no, I actually can't take it. I actually can't take it. I can't take it. Look at that. Can you see? Oh my, oh my God, and the spine. This is actually one of the most beautiful books I own. This is actually one of the most beautiful books I own. Do I read this on holiday? Listen, watch me, watch me, watch me take about 20 books with me. I am so tempted right now. I think I'm gonna take this with me. Look at the gorgeous stenciling on the hardcover. And then we've also got a gorgeous art on the back of the dust jacket. Fairy Lou, I wanna marry you. I will leave them linked down below. Go check Fairy Lou out if you haven't before. I just am a massive fan of them. Thank you so much to Fairy Loot for sending this to me. I appreciate it so, so much. I actually, I actually am almost crying. Like this, this book, everything about this, all the things they've added are so gorgeous. I actually feel a bit like blown away. Uh, listen, you guys, can you get over it? It helps that pink is my favorite color, but like, <laughs> guys, yeah, I love it. I love good news. Love good news. I just love good news. <laughs> oh, shit. I forgot one of the books that my parents got for me. It was not with the other ones. <laughs> it's because my mom has just started reading this. So I had to go grab it. I spoke about this in my TBR video. They got me Hairpin Bridge by Taylor Adams. This is by the author of No Exit, which I love. One of my favorite thrillers. It's about this girl whose sister supposedly killed herself by driving off this bridge and leaving a vague suicide note. She doesn't believe her sister um, killed herself. She believes she was murdered. And so it's about her going back to this place and the guy, like the patrol, um, highway patrol guy being very evasive. And so I think he's suspicious. Don't be suspicious. You are suspicious. Don't Absolutely. let the killer get you. Like Halloween, I think it's for ghouls and goblins and for the killer in disguise to choke you out. Oh, shit. Oh my God. Okay, wait, I've done this completely out of order. I've got another fairy loop book to show you because it's been a couple months. We have got Witches Steeped in Gold by Sianan Smart. Look how gorgeous this edition is. This is like this African inspired fantasy. I've heard so many good things about it. Literally everyone who, again, who reads this loves it. And I love this redesign with the pattern on the dust jacket. Listen, again, like I said, fairy loop doesn't know how to lose. They just win. Then one of the first book I actually hauled, I think this was the first book I hauled. So eight ago but it is we are okay by nina lacour if you watch my channel you know that i absolutely loved um oh my god why have i forgot the name why have i forgotten the name watch over me oh my god i'm so sorry i had a blank watch over me by nina lacour that's like one of the better books i think i've read this year so this is another nina lacour i don't know anything about this <laughs> i don't really know anything about the story but i am so excited to read it and i'm gonna be reading it this month for a secret video so 
Stay tuned. I am so random. I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> Next, these are some of the books I am most excited for. I don't know why I've left them so late, but let's be honest, nothing but hits, right? Nothing but hits. Nothing but wins. So these are some of the books I am most excited for. I bought two of these when I popped into Waterstones a couple weeks back and I could not contain myself. I really could not. I tried. I tried and I failed. It'd be a perfect I can't, save. I can't. I've tried it and I failed. Why does everyone I expect can't. it then? So firstly, I showed this in my TBR game as well. I got Ace of Spades by Farida Abike Iamede. This is set at a private school. It's Gossip Girl inspired. Our two main characters have secrets starting to be leaked out about them. And <laughs> when I put this in my TBR, I uploaded it last night when I'm filming this. All of you were commenting how much you loved it, how amazing it was, how much you think I'm gonna love it. And I'm not ready. Like, I, I think the ending of this is gonna be fucking crazy. I am not ready, but I am so excited. I am so, so excited. Then we have also got The Appeal by Janice Hallett. Now, this was sold to me in Warstones. This is why I bought these books because the woman there working there sold this to me. Oh my god, you guys! It is a murder mystery set in a quaint English town. Breathe with me, okay? Breathe with me. I'm at breaking point. It is told through mixed media, like emails and texts and all of that thing. It's entirely told through like emails. What? Excuse me? Are we not gonna cry? Because I am. I am gonna cry. Like, I am... It's everything I've ever wanted. <laughs> I am so, so excited to read this. I literally can't wait. It's gonna be amazing. That's all I need to know. These two law students have been assigned to the case. Someone has already been sent to prison for murder, but the uh, person charged with the case believes they are innocent. So we're just gonna go through all the evidence and like figure it out together. I want to cry. It's everything. I have ever wanted. It's everything I've ever wanted. And then, Lord, I got sent a proof of the Christie Affair. This isn't the final cover, this is like the proof cover, but can we talk about what a cool proof cover this is? I must stand, not gonna lie, I must stand. No, I don't think you understand. I'm obsessed. So this is about when Agatha Christie went missing for about 11 days, and this is told from the perspective of her husband's mistress, which is kind of theorized to be the reason why Agatha Christie went missing. She found out her husband was having an affair. She had some kind of mental break and um, she actually like signed into the hotel where she went and stayed in, I think it's either the uh, mistress's name or the mistress's last name, one of the two. And so it's told from the mistress's perspective and I am already obsessed. You guys know me, you know I love reading Agatha Christie, you know I love murder mysteries, you know I love mysteries. How, this book has been written for me. Can can you believe nothing but hits? Like, I don't think I've ever had a book called like this. So yeah, I am so excited to read this. It comes out in January 2022, so I've got a little while. I feel like this could be a good Christmas read. The lovely people over at Verso Books contacted me and wondered if I wanted to receive a few of their books, which I was super interested in because they are like a pretty well-known, more like left-wing publisher of non-fiction. I've always eyed up their books, so I'm super excited to receive these and hopefully I'll read some of them soon. Firstly, we have Crippled Austerity and the Deep the demonization of disabled people by Francis Ryan. So this is about how austerity in the UK has made disabled people be viewed as worthless, be viewed as scroungers, and has kind of demonized the public perception of them, which is a topic I'm very interested in. I don't think disability is talked about enough, particularly in nonfiction. I, I've always said I wanted to read more nonfiction about disability. So this is now my chance. I'm very intrigued about this. Then we've got this tiny book called Feminism for the 99%, a manifesto. So I believe this is viewing feminism through the lens of anti-capitalism, eco-socialism and anti-racism. So it's kind of making sure your feminism is inclusive of all people and especially of the people who need it. So again, I'm very excited for this. I feel like this would be maybe a good one for me to, again, not read in a vlog, but just read on my own at some point. Then we have got Black Women's Lives in Britain. So this is reclaiming and recording black women's history throughout Britain. Oh, sorry, it's called Heart of the Race, Black Women's Black Women's Lives in Britain. Yeah, like re rewriting this history and making people aware of the history that black women have in Britain, which has so often been erased and ignored. So I think this is 
is a super important topic as well. And then this is fiction actually, I don't think this is non-fiction, uh, but this is Terminal Boredom, which is a collection I think of like seven short stories which have been translated from Japanese. I believe it's kind of like science fiction-y, speculative-y, which you guys know I really enjoy. I love like speculative fiction, so I'm very excited to get to this as well. So thank you Verso Books for sending these for my way. I'm super excited to get to all of them. And then I don't wanna, I don't wanna like, you know, end this on a bum note. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm going to do. I'm sitting on the floor. The last three books I will just hold up very quickly. They fit in a video and a wrap up, but I did haul in the last couple months Only Love Is Real by Dr. Brian Weiss, The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz, and Pretty Little Liars by Sarah Shepard. These were all for the Reading Kylie Jenner's Favourite Books video, which I will leave linked. It was interesting. But um, I'm glad it's behind me. <laughs> I'm glad that's in my past. So I'm not gonna attempt and even hold up all these books, but this is generally one of my favorite book hauls I've ever done. I think this is like nothing but hits, like I say, nothing but hits. Just like so many beautiful books. Let me know which like book here is your favorite to look at out of all the ones I showed. If you've gotten to the end, comment, um, is there like card emojis? I think there must be. Comment anything related to playing cards, basically. Anything along those vibes if you've gotten to the end. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon in another video. Bye!